Hi everybody, we're back. CTCC Radio. This is Matthew. There we go. How everybody, how's everybody doing? I'm in the building with some of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Some of my favorite people in the whole wide world. Introduce yourself. Uh, what up, what up, it's Lucas. What up, Nick. Master Farrell. Anime all day. That's it? Come on, you guys are some of the most animated dudes I know. Alright. Luke right. <laughs> Luca, Mickey, Cool Hey Luca. I'm beast. <laughs> Soccer good. phenom. We contribute to the culture. Yeah, we're contributors. What do you uh, get? Oh, we're gonna get into all that after, but I want to know uh, real quick just some about yourselves as individuals before you guys get into the whole brand and um, the store and what you guys do for the society because you guys do a lot. But first, I want to know how, wh who you are as people. So, Nick, go first. What up? Uh, let's see, to start off. Uh, let's see, we started this brand when we were 21. Mm -hmm. Shit, it's been three years now. Uh, basically what I do is I run social media stuff, mm -hmm. uh, handle the shit around the store. Mm -hmm. Luke does more of the uh, of the connecting shit, but you know what I mean I just I'm low key. How'd you meet how'd you meet Luke? If you don't mind me asking. Hey and Luke? Yeah. We've known each other for years. Mm -hmm. We played soccer and Nick was cool, I always wanted to be friends. Ah, he always says that. <laughs> It's not like that. He's one of those guys. It's not like that. Ah, he's just so nice, man. Uh, he's you such are pretty a good nice. person. You, you are pretty he's nice, the bro. best person I've ever met in my life. You can't be mad at him. I don't think ever. Yeah, yeah he can't. Yeah. Ah, yeah. uh, <laughs> he'll, he'll try. He'll try. All right, so Nick gets all the ladies. All right, so Master Pearl, uh, that's your that's your brand. Yeah. And then recently, I met you maybe in December of 2013. And your store had just opened at that point, maybe like a month or two before? Yeah, we opened in October, so probably, yeah, like a month in, probably. So you guys are about to reach, was it your year anniversary? Yeah, a couple months, yeah. How's it been? First year so far. It's been crazy, man. It's been a good year, you know? Ups and downs. Yeah. A lot of contributing to the culture going on. Oh, man, you're throwing you know a lot saying? of shameless love. <laughs> Woo! So since you keep bringing up contributing to the culture, uh, yo, yo, honestly, wait, wait. Shout out to Shimmy, by the oh, way. Thanks, man. Best guy around. Thanks, man. All around hero. I'm trying, man. So about this whole contributing to the culture thing, by the way, if you guys don't know what that is, uh, we started a collective uh, featuring artists from all over the country, as well as businesses and entrepreneurs from all, all over the country. Un all unsigned artists. All unsigned artists. Um, and then I had uh, my homie of all homies, DJ Mad Leaks. As well as the honorable DJ Mero, they helped me out with that collective. You can find that on RedEyeFlatClub.com. You can find that on MassApparel.com. Whoop! SuperEagleColobias.com. VictorOrbis.org. Oh, and since we're doing the shameless plugs, all you two's coming out real soon. September first. Yeah. But back to back to you guys though. All right. So the day I met you guys, I had uh, I met you guys during the cipher. Yes. That was my first, you know, recognition of you guys. And you guys were really all about just embracing the art and embracing everybody that was in the area. And since I've been working with you from then, you guys haven't stopped. So what do you guys feel like you do as individuals, as entrepreneurs, as businessmen that to help the people that are around us? Uh, I think our motto, you know, no room for rest. Mm -hmm. Always telling people to keep going and keep pushing. Mm -hmm. Just don't stop, you know? What about you, Nick? Yeah, I mean, basically, we just wanted to create a space. Like, we didn't feel like there was a space for people to really be able to do what they like, what they wanted to do. So that's what we try to do. You know, if anybody comes in, we give them a place to. You know, if they do music, we got a studio on the back. We let them use the studio. Mm -hmm. we make know. sure we got all the creative mojo around for everybody. Yeah, yeah. just a very positive space. Good. All right, so you guys got any favorite uh, artists in the city? Without being biased, oh, Mr. Fritz. No bias. <laughs> no, this kid's sitting right next to me. So <laughs> nah, nah. Um, I, man, there's a lot of people. You know, I like King Casanova a lot. Mm -hmm. Obviously, I'm rocking with Token. Mm -hmm. He should be here soon. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm -hmm. um, I don't know, man. I mess with everybody. You know, we 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 try to work with everybody. So yeah, definitely I, rock with Casanova. I wouldn't mess with anybody that wasn't good. Yeah. yeah. Would you? 
I mean, my definition of good and your definition of good might be two different things. Regardless, I, I mean, if you're rocking with it. All right, I'm glad you went there. We're gonna have a, a, a comparison right now, right? All right? All right, so I'm gonna give you two names from two different sides of the spectrum, and I want you to uh, just to pick your favorite. You ready? Okay. You want to do lo you want to do local or mainstream first? Huh? Should we oh, do man. it? If you Should do we? local, that's like. Oops. Is it one of us answers one? Or you both, both can answer. You each can answer. This will be your question Ooh. of the day. You want to do local or mainstream? I mean, it depends. If you want to make it touchy. We can go local. We're gonna do touchy since we right, contribute to culture. Local. All right, so Damn, we've, got, we've got one of my favorites, and uh, he actually stopped by your store when you guys just opened up. But we have God, which is one of my favorites. We've got him, and then I'm gonna throw out. Uh, I'll throw out Caso, Mr. B Mr. Blackboard. Oh man. <laughs> <laughs> two different artists, two different styles on the complete opposite end of the spectrum. Man, that's crazy. <laughs> you gotta I mean, pick. Gio is a good dude, man. You I like his pick. music a lot. But, you know, know, Tasso's the that's homie, tough. you know. I'm with him every day and I'm watching him grow. He's growing as an artist, as a writer. That's a real answer. And everything, you know, he works really hard. I, I like G.O.D.'s music, but I haven't seen his work ethic. But, I mean, I like being around good work ethic and Tasso's a hard worker. Oh, what about you, Nick? Yeah, I'm gonna have to agree, just cause again. He was good though. Yeah, no doubt he's good, but uh, yeah, I'm around Costco a lot, so I see I see what he's got, what he's got cooking, and uh, it's gonna be dope when it drops. What about you, DJ Magnus? I don't want to sound biased, and it sounds like everybody's going for Costco, but I'm a Costco fan. Costco fan? Yeah, definitely. See, I right, I'm gonna answer now because I have to answer. I asked ask the question. <laughs> Alright, so I really, I really <laughs> like Costco. This is gonna have some. I really like, I really like Costco. He's super talented. I feel like he can be the best in the city. No, I feel like he can be the best in the city, but it's just so hard sometimes finding this. To man. get a hold of him. <laughs> to get a hold of him. You know I mean? it's, so, yeah. it's so hard, but I can't really use that as, a, as an advantage for G.O.D. because I probably can get a hold of to uh, Costco before G.O.D. But as far as sound and just stuff that I can ride in, my car too, you know what I mean? Because I'm always driving. I'm gonna have to pick God. Okay. He, he just yeah, has that sound. It's funny. I met uh, one of Gio's main producers yeah. in Southern Florida in a hot tub at a hotel. It was really <laughs> awkward. <laughs> he was like, "Yo, I'm working with this dude named Gio from Boston." At the time, I had heard of him. But when we opened up the shop, he came through like one of the first few weeks in and took the freestyle for this blog. But, but yeah, that's how I met. That's how I heard of him. <laughs> I feel you, I appreciate that. But I have one more question. Um, I really appreciate you guys coming, you know what I mean? You guys are always looking out for the people. You guys are always supporting events and allowing events in your store. You guys got any events coming up in the near future? Uh, we're working on a uh, pizza party. Mm -hmm. And then um, we also have a, a wine tasting coming up, okay. I think, in, the, uh, in November sometime. <laughs> I think I'm gonna do it on my birthday, actually. Mm -hmm. Catalina nice. involved or not? I contribute to the culture wine mixer. Like, so. Yo, that kind of sounds dope. And then we'll work for local wineries. Alright. <laughs> no, but, but for real. Man, but for real, it's not confirmed yet, but I think on the fi August 15th we're gonna have a art gallery showing. Okay, nice. With a couple of the That's artists cool. that are in the shop. So, that should be dope. No, that sounds good. Alright, so what? before you guys leave, like, where can people find you guys? You know what I mean? You guys are cool individuals to talk to. Maybe they want some new friends. Uh, Buck social media. Come in and say hello. <laughs> Three, 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 Austin, Massachusetts. Austin. Address? Yeah, we just gave it. Oh. Stop, <laughs> listening. Stop listening. Sorry, bro. I'm doing a lot of things. But if you do have to reach us. Social media. Social media. Uh, Mass. Twitter. Mass. APR. Stop fucking cutting in on me. I'm going. You talk too slow. <laughs> he talks way too slow. I'm gonna ask you A P R L. That's one of our. That's one of our things. And the other one is M A S S A P R L store. Uh -huh. You can catch it on Twitter and Instagram. Website. Nick, what's the website? <laughs> www.mass-apparel.com. All right, friends. Is that quick enough for you? Guys you guys don't know the It's not a slash. It's a hyphen. It's a little um button that is at the. It's right next to the zero key. Okay. Oh that's the hyphen. Good to know. All right, good to know. Any more words for you, Lee?
Yeah, yeah, I got a few shout outs. Shout out to Fred, shout out to Casa, shout yeah. out to Casanova, yeah. shout out to Rig, shout out to uh, my mom, she cooked this dang food today. Yeah, um, yeah, 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 definitely. Sh shout out to the convenience store around the corner, they got really good stuff. <laughs> shout out to Apache Girl, she's my queen. Shout out to the DJ, he's killing it. Shout out to Red Eyes. Shout out to Carmen Lou for coming for ya. Oh, oh. <laughs> that being said, that's been the whole year. <laughs> That's I really appreciate you guys coming. You guys gotta come back. You know, and my stuff is a little bit better in order. Yeah. What the Apologies, hell? What the hell? Shimmy's coming up. Apologies, Apologies. Shimmy's Shimmy. killing it though. He's trying. He's a beast, man. He's taking out a lot of shit right now, and he's taking it down one by one. I appreciate y'all being sponsors for uh, Volume Two. That's coming real soon. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Doubt. So just wait. Contribute on Contribute to the culture. Oh, also check out our uh, Hooligans collection. Oh it's yeah. Dope. Check it's it out on the website, dope. Instagram. All right. Ooh, I think we're about to get back into music. So once again, bye, Jimmy. The massacre of homos, homies. I appreciate. Oh no! Oh, what? 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 O